yes students i hope you have gone through the lesson basic biology in which you have learned structure of cell components of the cell in detail now we are moving on to the next lesson plant tissues and animal tissues unit 1 we are going to learn plant tissues first we are going to learn certain definitions in which we are going to learn the definition of tissues organ organ system what is tissues tissues team of work, workers tissues a group of similar cells performing a specific function example muscular tissue nervous tissue meaning suppose you take our muscles they are all made up of similar kind of tissues which is why we call it as muscular tissue if you take our brain brain is an organ made up of a tissue called nervous tissue that means there are so many nerve cells in it organ organ a group of tissue that together perform a specific function example leaf stem in plants heart brain in human beings organ system a group of organs that perform a particular function example digestive system respiratory system meaning several groups the function is only digestion one function digestion but several organs like mouth esophagus stomach small intestines liver pancreas together perform one function called digestion that is why we call that group of organs as organ system digestive system like that if you take respiration done in with the help of group of organs then we call it as respiratory system similarly we have various other systems like excretory system circulatory system reproductive system etc now we are moving on to relationship between tissue organ and organ system as organism several tissues together contributing to some specific function inside the body constitute an organ many organs work together to perform a specific life processes constitute an organ system various organ systems together constitute an organism meaning here many organs like brain heart circulatory system digestive system excretory system together perform and finally we live as an organism if you take man man is not only one cell or a few cells or a few organs he is made up of so many organs they all live together perform one function as an organ system then many organ system live as organism this is the relationship between tissue organ and organism now we are going to learn various plant tissues and their structures plant tissues are basically of two types a meristematic tissue in other words a meristem and permanent tissue now we are learning about meristematic tissue meristematic tissues are found at growing points of plants such as tips of roots stem and branches because these cells can multiply to produce new cells you might have seen the potato with eyes children small eyes will germinating potato they are called eyes that, that if you observe in the microscope you will find meristematic tissue root tips if you take there you will find meristematic tissue sprouts if you take there you will find meristematic tissue they are also present between the bark and the wood of the tree to increase the diameter of the stem by multiplying and producing new cells characteristics of meristematic tissue are number 1 cells are small these are very small because they are present in growing parts babies 
cells are usually cubical in shape cell walls are thin cell wall is thin for the meristematic cell chain very thin not very tough and thick nuclei are large vacuoles are almost absent cells are tightly packed with almost no intercellular spaces a rich cytoplasm so they are tightly packed the cells are actively dividing adding new cells to the plant new cells thus produced are transformed into mature permanent tissues meristematic tissue will uh, will no longer remain as meristematic tissue as they are growing becoming older they change into permanent tissues now meristematic tissue kinds apical meristematic tissue intercalary meristematic tissue lateral meristematic tissue the meristematic tissue can be classified into two categories namely apical meristem this is located at the tip of roots in stem and also in growing youngest leaves at the tips of stems as well as the tip of auxiliary buds cambium or lateral meristematic tissue this is located below the bark and is responsible for increase in diameter of the stem children here apical meristematic tissue will increase the height of the plant whereas lateral meristematic tissue it increases the diameter of the stem permanent tissues they contains cells that have lost ability to divide that means they do not divide further once the division is over only growth such kind of tissues are called permanent tissues they take permanent shape to perform some some permanent functions that is specific function according to the functions of the permanent tissue functions the permanent tissues are classified into three categories number 1 protective tissue number 2 supporting tissue number 3 conducting tissue protective tissue is made up of cells with thick cell walls and are found on the surface of roots stem and leaves you might have seen children beetle leaves will they like beetle leaves on that you will see a water water fruit shining surface that is actually example of protective tissue even the banyan trees uh, leaves the ficus leaves in front of our school the uh, big trees they are ficus that leaves also if you take a banana leaf if you take the shining surface will be there that is all made up of the protective tissue namely epidermis epidermis of leaves which secrete a waxy waterproof material cork cells in the box contain strong waterproof material number 2 supporting tissue supporting tissue is of several types after that we are going to learn three the three most important ones are parenchyma collenchyma and sclerenchyma number 1 parenchyma parenchyma is made up of the following wait large thin wall cells oval circular are polygonal in shape usually a single large vacuole is present found in soft parts of plants such as in the cortex region and in the pith central region may store food as in potatoes provide temporary support to the plant in this area you will be asked two questions children mention the location of parenchyma then you will write found in soft parts of plants such as cortex and pith region and what are the functions of parenchyma there you can write many functions like storage of food in potatoes in leaves since they contain chloroplast they perform photosynthesis the parenchyma tissue which has chloro fill is called chloroenchyma got it why is parenchyma called chloroenchyma in leaves is the give reason so in such cases you can write because they perform photosynthesis now we are moving on to colon chyma 
Cholenchyma is made up of cells which are elongated and cell wall is thickened at corners. It is found in the leaf stalks and below the epidermis of stems. The tissue helps to support the plant's parts. Children, you will see here you can see parenchyma when you observe there is no much intercellular space and that was not thickened. Here you can see thickened corners in this cross section. You will find this in petioles and pencils. Hibiscus flower stalk you have seen and bitter leaf stalk you have seen no. That texture is because of cholenchyma. Neither soft nor very brittle like wood. That is the nature of cholenchyma. Sclerenchyma. They are composed of long narrow cells which have become dead. These cells develop very thick walls due to the deposition of lignin. This tissue provides strength to the plant parts. It is found in the stems and veins of the leaves. Veins of the leaves you might have seen coconut leaves. Children. We take them, dry them and make them into brooms, broomsticks. So these are all made and coconut fibers. Coir beds and all are made, no? They are all. And you also see the gritty masses of the uh, jew or gritty masses of this what um, peach, dates and all. And um, you will find this clear and kalma in bark. Now, we are moving on to Conducting tissue, the third kind of tissue. Conducting tissues are also called as vascular tissues. They provide passage for water and dissolved materials to move up and down in the plants. The xylem and phloem are the two types of conducting tissues. Xylem is composed of tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma, xylem sclerenchyma. Here you have a question. Mention the elements of the xylem or name the elements of xylem. Then you will write tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers. Now we will learn each individually. Now tracheids. Tracheids are elongated cells with tapering ends. Their function is to provide mechanical support conducts water. Now vessels. Vessels are long tube like cells. Cell wall is thick and lignified. Dead cells and their function is to conduct water. Xylem parenchyma. They are made up of living cells and their function is to store food and lateral conduction of water. Xylem sclerenchyma are xylem fibers. These are made up of thick walled dead cells. Their function is to give mechanical support to the plant. By this what you understand is xylem is not made up of only one kind of cells as in the case of parenchyma, cholenchyma and sclerenchyma. Here you are finding four kinds of elements, four different kinds of cell. But function is only one function that is transportation of water and mineral salts. So these are called complex tissues not one kind many kind of cells performing one function and such tissue are called complex permanent tissues now we are moving on to phloem phloem is made up of c2 companion cells phloem parenchyma phloem fibers c2 elongated and tube like cells Placed end to end, cell wall with pores, therefore the end walls are perforated and called sieve plates. Their function is translocation of food. Sieve, you may have seen in your house a sieve, sieving, that is to separate certain bigger molecules from the smaller molecules. We use a device called sieve, so particles. We sieve it and then take. Like that, in phloem, there are certain perforations, holes. 
and that is why it is called C plate. Is it clear? Is it clear? So, phloem is also called complex permanent tissue because it is also made up of four elements, namely cell tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma, phloem fibers. Here also you will get two give reasons. Why are C tubes called so? Why are phloem considered as complex permanent tissues? Then you must be able to write. Now we are moving on to companion cells. Thin walled cells with active cytoplasm. Their function is to help sieve tubes in translocation of food. Phloem parenchyma. Thin walled. Their function is storage of food. And phloem fibers. These are made up of dead cells. And their function is to give mechanical support. Here also you will get two questions children. Namely, mention the Location of phloem parenchyma. Mention the function of C tubes, etc. Now we are going through a flow chart where we are learning about plant tissues. It is a schematic representation where you find see plant tissues that are divided into meristematic tissues, permanent tissues. And when it comes to the mer meristematic tissue, we have apical meristem, intercalary meristem, lateral meristem. Permanent tissue. They are divided into simple and complex. Simple permanent tissues again divided into parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma. And parenchyma, we have two kinds, erenchyma and colenchyma. Erenchyma we find in the leaves and stems. Chlorenchyma is a parenchyma which contains chlorophyll. Colenchyma, now coming to sclerenchyma. Sclerenchyma, we have sclerenchyma fibers as in the case of coconut fibers. Sclerides and then we are moving to complex permanent tissue. It is divided into two, namely xylem and phloem. Their structure etc. you have learned now we are moving on to assignment assignment you are supposed to write in a4 sheet children pin it and submit after the reopening now define tissue describe meristematic tissue differentiate between organ and organ system give reasons why xylem tissue is so called here they might ask you give reason why Sieve tubes are so called. Mention the function of the following sclerenchyma, xylem, phloem. Differentiate between permanent tissue and meristematic tissue. Mention the location of parenchyma, protective tissue, apical meristem, cambium. Draw the following diagrams parenchyma, xylem, phloem.